Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another Fortnite video. I, I told you I'm still going to be doing these and uh, we're going to go and do the volcano adventure. Like you guys know I love my guides, my tutorials and I, I actually really enjoyed this map. It's not the longest but it's just a lot of fun. It's just like short and sweet type of map. But this is the volcanic adventure and straight away you just want to start the game because you start in the same space as you spawn on the island so you're not going to miss out on anything and you can see the uh, the ocean and all the details put into it at the beginning but welcome to volcano adventure you've got to basically get to the top it's pretty self-explanatory one of the easy ones but we're quickly gonna go check out his socials because this is toxic if you want to use his support creator code you can and all his youtube instagram and reddit are the same except for his twitter which is phase before you now you can also take a crossbow with you it has no real effect there's a few firing ranges along the way that you can do for fun but other than that it's just a very basic parkour map but if you are struggling i hope you enjoy this guide make sure you hit the like button if it did help you but other than that let's get into it right now first level you just want to jump on through that gap that's going to get you to the first checkpoint now here you just want to make your way up the trees and just crouch through because it can knock you off and then don't be scared to jump through the bushes onto that first platform onto the chair and then just get a running jump onto the branch now you can jump up onto the top but i just jumped from the branch onto the rock up to the tree and then just keep jumping up i wouldn't try to run up that you'll probably slip off now this bit you want to all the uh, like the first few jumps are pretty easy like these ones are ones you want to be careful you don't overshoot um, because that is sometimes the more common problem when you get a bit too confident but this first level is pretty basic and this brings you on to level three now you just want to hop onto the fence here and then you just want to jump around to the balcony up onto this triangle section and you've got to basically get around that whole little u-turn area and these triangles are probably going to be your biggest pain on the map but once you learn to jump through them without hitting your head you're pretty good just go ahead jump around the corner and then once you're through that like triangle bit it's pretty much easy there you can jump on that part of the grass just not the lower section now as i said there are like some more little cross both firing ranges around the area you can find a few little llamas as well and be sure to like subscribe and leave a comment for me always support the channel thank you very much but yeah moving on we're gonna move with the next level and this is like a little square section you can go left or right here it doesn't matter it's pretty much the exact same and then we got to get up this massive tube section and this for me was probably the the longest that it took me this was probably the longest section for me um and it was mainly these two triangle jumps because they're very tricky but once you do them you get onto this bit and you've got to jump from the metal all the way onto the top of the triangle and this is probably the hardest jump in the whole game so far um but yeah once you get that it's pretty simple just make sure you land on the left if you try and hit the right the wood on the right can sometimes bounce you off just be careful of that got another little hidden llama there and we're gonna go ahead and be very careful with these jumps because the rest of this is pretty easy and we want to make sure we don't fall now because considering like we've just gotten past the hardest jump in the game we don't want to have to go and do that a whole bunch of times so just jump up and round these corners very stealthily the, the hardest bit here will be these flames but as long as like you hit the wall just as like you're on top of them that'll slow you down a bit and it will help you get round onto the next level which is number five now there's a little trick to this one there's actually a bounce pad at the bottom not a bounce pad but like a bouncy thing at the bottom just press forward against the wall and the first bounce will automatically put you in the room instead of you having to bounce in there for ages trying to figure it out and then this first little uh, straightforward section is pretty easy you can actually just walk around a lot of this section just make sure you don't go to the end of this log because the end of that log will slip you back down all the way into the trap so you want to jump about halfway up it now number six uh, this is like the last level and probably second i'd say hardest jump in the game is right here and it's getting from this top triangle point because you can hit your head if you go all the way to the top so just make sure you jump slightly before the top of the triangle and that turn should get you to full jump and then be careful of the trap there you just want to do a nice little u-turn easy jump and you've completed it that's we're on to number seven but number seven is basically the end it's it's a death choice you are finally here enjoy the view 
view and choose your amp. So basically like there's four choices. Number one, you can go ahead and jump into the volcano. And I, I was kind of hoping he might have done something tricky with it, where it might bounce you out in a different way or killed you in a different way. But it, it's pretty much just burned to death. Yeah, sorry about that guys. Or you can go ahead and get killed by an invisible block. Yep, that definitely works definitely an invisible block there or number four you can use a baller and go and explore the map and see what it looks like from a different perspective and this is pretty fun i do love exploring the maps on baller to see all the different areas and that but just be careful because you will most likely die anyway from a death barrier that some somewhere around the map as part of the map now, number two is go through this little speed and make your way to the portal. Just follow the red lights and this is basically going to take you back to the creative hub. And this is your final choice. This is going to reset the game. So be careful if you do go through it. But other than that, we're all good. And I like the fact that once you come back in, you still have the speed boots and you can run around like crazy. But that's the end of the video. I hope you did enjoy it. I'll see you uh, for a lot more of these guides. And yeah, adios.